Hey guys, Silence Dale here. Welcome back to another Uta Macross Gacha video. Before we begin with everything else, I have a few more announcements that I need to make. Um, first things first, yesterday was the first day of the brand new Macross Delta and Frontier short film uh, movies hitting the cinemas in Japan. So if you guys have been following me on Instagram, I'm sure most of you will probably be keeping up with news um, when I've updated regarding um, the situations to the event or you know the merchandise being totally sold out. <laughs> so yes, uh, aside from that, there's one other thing I have to notify you guys, especially those of you who do not want to be spoiled by anything. Um, during the last Makutoma, if you guys have actually watched it because they did uh, premiere the first 5 minutes and 29 seconds Well, it's not exactly the first 5 minutes of the movies but more like snippets from the entire movie here and there um, But it was just the entire Macross Delta movie There, there was nothing shown for the Frontier uh, short film So yeah, so during that Makutoma um, live stream if you guys watched it on showroom for those of you who are international fans because showroom does not region lock uh, unlike YouTube which was also streaming simultaneously to showroom um, the YouTube live stream was region locked so you had to use a VP VPN to basically watch on YouTube but for international fans luckily enough uh, showroom does not region lock their content so you can actually watch it there um, so for those of you which I think majority of you guys probably might have watched on showroom um, probably will have know that while they were showing off the pamphlet or uh, the booklet the program booklet basically uh, if you guys are not used to hearing the word pamphlet from the Japanese side um, the program book basically had a red line text a very fine red light text within one of his pages before they move on to the very very spoiler content details of that pamphlet um, Minori actually read it out and with the confirmation with Hatanaka-san um, who is under Big West which is the company that promotes or um, distributes the rights for Macross in Japan so what was mentioned during that live stream was that you should not read the contents of the pamphlet or program book uh, whichever way you want to call it by before watching the movie because all the contents inside the pamphlet is literally spoiler territory so um, what I need to warn you guys uh, most of you who are already following me on Instagram will probably know um, there are some very irresponsible fans out there who have actually bought the program book um, and have actually uploaded it on you know the internet so and it's been spreading around um, Macross fan groups here and there uh, I myself I don't publish such things because I have ethics <laughs> um, so these people who are very very irresponsible um, have been sharing the content and of course you know dubious fans just want to you know um, promote their ego sh showing the world that oh I know about this now um, and you guys don't so yeah they are ruining the movie for everybody out there um, then of course people who are just oblivious to the content just look at it and they're like ooh new stuff but they don't realize that you know the the entire movie's plot and all this is being spoiled by the pamphlet itself so guys stay away from all the fandom groups on Facebook Instagram um, Reddit you know and 4chan uh, apparently all these high resolution scans of the program book or the pamphlet whichever you want to call it by it's all on the internet now I mean it's the first day of the movie's release and this is happening this is just horrible um, so I have actually been talking to some of my Japanese friends um, on Twitter on Facebook you know regarding the situation um, some of them you know have to agree with me that it is despicable um, that you know the pamphlet was just sold today or literally yesterday because I'm recording this video on the 10th of October 
basically it's one day after the gacha has been released and the movie has been released um and yeah i mean personally for myself my i would say my acceptable line of such scanlations is only if um the movie has been released worldwide that means through dvd content or blu-ray um, because international fans cannot watch the movie in cinemas within Japan so right now the only people who actually know the story for the movies are the Japanese or at least the international fans who are living within Japan basically the people within the country of Japan itself anyone outside of Japan does not know the story of the movies at all unless people have been spoiling their friends overseas that kind of stuff then that is their problem but still the line that should be drawn is basically once the movie has been released internationally you know and of course if the pamphlet is not attainable anymore out of print you know and you are trying to preserve the history of the pamphlet um, you know then then it's fine you know scalations are fine but still if the book is brand new and it's being sold at the venues and if you're a real fan you should really try to buy a copy of the actual pamphlet you know rather than relying on all these scanlations this is just horrible and worst thing is I've seen some people sharing the content and commenting that oh with such high resolution scans I'm gonna print the booklet myself rather than purchase the original pamphlet now that is just that is just downright evil and you know you're not a real fan of the series at all I'm sorry guys I have to start the video off with such a nasty tone but people please have some ethics in your life you know if you are the one who are creating this marvelous series and your fans are doing this to your work what do you think? <laughs> you know, do you want your fans to be doing such things that you are doing to the creators right now? You know, do the kind of morale you're giving to the creators, you know, my work, my heart, time and effort I spend into creating something so wonderful for the for the world to enjoy is being ruined by such people. Can you imagine? the pain and the sorrow of the creators and the people behind the production not, not I mean not forgetting the seiyus Kawamori sama you know and of course we have Tenjin we have you know all the people who are involved with the production the music crew the sound crew animation crew there's a lot of people involved their livelihoods their their, their revenue their you know the money that they use to buy food to put on their table oh god anyways with all of this aside I'm gonna let you guys think about it this is something that is obvious that you shouldn't be doing um, you know there are certain lines that needs to be drawn and this is a bit too much so spread the word guys spread the words please do not support such fan groups who actually share such content it is not ethical at all anyways moving along um today <laughs> the 10th of october it's actually the og diva's birthday so happy birthday to lin min mei uh so yeah so many of you min mei fans have finally seen um you know i will say probably it was was it yesterday let's dive into the gacha page and take a look <laughs> I can't, I can't remember if it was yesterday or was it today um, that yeah the Min Mei birthday step up gacha I think it was yesterday right it usually comes out on the eve of the birthday so yeah so Min Mei step up gacha is here so it does have the um, featured episode play that most of you Min Mei fans have voted for so you can try to attain them that is of course if you have enough singing stones um, to try and pull the step up gacha if not you know you'll be trying to pull the brand new reina gacha which is what we are here for so <laughs> anyways um, aside from that so 
we have to step into the mission page. Um, so for those of you who are on Instagram with me, you probably already know what's going on. Um, so yeah, aside from the Minmay birthday missions, which I shouldn't need to explain anymore, it's basically downright simple because we've been doing this for four years now. <laughs> so yeah, as long as you have the featured divas, uh, the birthday divas, uh, as your center position and you're playing the um, the event song for the birthday um, you should be clearing all the missions you know easily so I, I shouldn't need explaining this alright in full detail so the main thing is this one which is the Wakure wa Akirame Nai missions and this is the first half so initially when they released these missions on the 8th of October um, the daily missions were not there, so I did mention this yesterday on Instagram. So the missions, um, the daily ones just came in when the event started yesterday. Uh, the regular missions have been explained on Instagram, so if you want to know the explanation, it's all there. Um, so take note, just take note about the dailies. Yesterday it was Freya that was needed to be in the center position. Today is Mikumo. Yeah, hopefully you guys can recognize the names of the divas by now. So, yeah, just take note of the, the diva that is required to be in the center position to clear the mission. Um, so far, they are rotating the um, Valkyrie members. So, the event is going to last from the 8th to the 21st of October, so that's pretty long. I don't know whether they will include the other five divas from the rest of the Macross series, but it technically should be the Valkyrie members only, considering that this event song is technically Valkyrie song. <laughs> so anyways, uh, that's about it for all the missions that I have to explain for now. Um, so let's dive back into the gacha page and do what is needed to be done. So guys, um, let's take a look at Ray Ray's brand new Noble Costume Episode Plate. Um, okay, so the total score on this episode plate with the plus 25 luck value is 3761. If it's without the plus 25 luck value, the plate is at a 3511 um, total score, which isn't too bad, I know, considering that a 6 star episode plate, technically the highest we have seen is somewhere close to a 3000. Seven, uh, so it's around the three thousand six hundred and fifty something range. That's the highest for a six star episode plate. Um, so this is a pretty decent episode plate, considering that it's around the three thousand five hundred eleven range. It's not the highest average, but still. And of course, this episode plate um, focuses on voice, and then Soul has a bit more points compared to Charm, which is suffering the most. Pay attention to the other three divas that can use the episode plate because when it comes to the diva improvement events, um, such things actually matter, uh, especially when you're trying to get a very good high score. Alright, center skill, voice up. Unit's voice is boosted by 90% up. Very nice percentage boost. Definitely an episode plate that could be an alternative to a center position plate. That is if you don't have any 7 star episode plates. As good to replace this one. So, moving along, active skill, life recovery of 30%. So, yeah, it's lacking that healing of power. Um, we've seen for the longest time 50% is the best recovery ability. Um, but we are here mainly for the li life skill. So, S rank life skill for short duration, fold score up. So, Yes, this is one of those new episode plates that requires your fold percentage um, before you go into the Valkyrie attack phase. So yes, if you guys still don't know what it does, basically it only can increase up to 110%. Um, that's depending on your own personal play. Of course, if your fold percentage is not as high as that, then of course you get the lower rate of scoring. So yeah, so every um, 1% you get um, that 1% boost in score for 16 seconds, so that's pretty nice. So, but it's strange enough that the current event song uh, is kind of a long duration song, <laughs> so I don't understand why they're boosting short duration abilities. Who knows? But anyways, 
Um, it's always like, good to have a mixture, I guess. Maybe a few short duration abilities to cover certain portions of the songs because your long duration skills do not activate during those portions. So at least you'll be covered throughout the entirety of play with like skills boosting score. So yeah, that's probably something you can consider when it comes to setting up your own diva. Um, so yeah. Last but not least, no special notes attached to this episode plate. So with all of that scene, is this plate actually worth your money? Technically, it's okay. It's not a must to get. Uh, if you have the spare singing stones to you know toss into the gacha, why not? You know, after all, it's always good to unlock a brand new costume. Um, for Riri really, really fans, I. I don't have to say it, it is definitely a must. I myself, I definitely would love to get this episode played because Maki Ray is my favorite pair from the Wild Korea team. <laughs> um, aside from that, if you guys are hardcore players, I guess it's okay to get it. Um, but of course, if you guys are whalers, you know, unlocking it at plus 25 luck value is probably the thing that you always go for so well, what's there to stop you guys um, aside from that for free to play players of course because this is the first event gacha um, you know we have the event gacha tickets to help support you know financially if you guys cannot afford the singing stones maybe you want to save your singing stones for like the seven star episode plates you know that are still currently around hmm yeah so we got Freya and Mikumo. So I might try pulling on them, considering that we do get free singing stones from the recent um, STEM collection event that had recently concluded, uh, especially since they were giving out the movie tickets as well. So yeah, managed to get a bunch of singing stones for myself, so that's not too bad. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so let's stop the bab babbling away and let's dive into the gacha. Of course, we'll start off with all the free gacha pools first. Let's start with the evening um, free daily pool. Okay, no loading bar at all. So that's kind of boring. Is, the, is today a bad day to pull gachas? Um, hmm. Okay, so... I'm not expecting anything, so I'm just gonna go ahead and skip this. Oh, so it's a pretty rare common play. Now, speaking of free gacha pools, I'm sure you guys have noticed from yesterday. Um, yeah, the template pools are back. Oh, actually, was it on the 8th of October? I can't remember. Um, so, yeah, it should be the 8th of October. So, two days ago, the template gacha pools came back. Hopefully, you guys got something nice. I myself personally got something fantastic from day 2, which was yesterday. Day 1 was an entire flop. So hopefully you guys actually got something nice out of day 1 and day 2. Um, as you can see from the banner, it is possible to pull out 6 star episode plates um, from the gacha itself. So let's dive into the free single pool first for Ray Ray's banner before we go into the template pool. I do have super dimension tickets that actually need to be cleared as well because they're expiring. So lots of gacha today. Okay, so nothing fantastic. Feels like today is a bad day for me. Oh boy. There's no loading bar at all as well. Okay, so we are getting some decently rare common plates as well. Hmm. Hopefully that's some sort of a good sign. Okay, so let's dive into the Super Dimension Gacha first because um, I would prefer to get better luck with the other Gachas. So we're going with a template pool here. Okay, we're getting some slow loading here. Hmm. There we go. Alright, 3 Valkyrie animations, so that's pretty mediocre. So today's luck is pretty average. Red box on the first bling. Alright, seems like, yep, very bad mediocre luck, I guess, considering that we don't have that many red boxes. Okay. Let's keep skipping all the common stuff. 
There we go. No evolution on the red box, but we do get a pretty rare red episode plate. So that's not too bad. And there's a brand new one for me as well. So that's actually pretty good. <laughs> Even though it's a poor pool. So, okay. Hopefully that flushes away all the bad luck. And we will start rolling in with all the good stuff. Um, so let's move into the 10 plate free pool for the day. Here we go. It's a lot of gacha for this video. <laughs> oh, that was a very, very quick load. Blink of an eye. Okay. One, two, three. Okay, mediocre luck for this one as well. Single red box on the first bling. Yep, seems like the luck is pretty stagnant. As long as they give me rare red boxes, that's fine. Okay, let's keep uh, skipping the common stuff. Nobody wants to see these. <laughs> oh, what's a mirage there? Okay. I think I've seen this play before. Yep. Definitely not new for me. Alright, so a very bad flop on the free daily pool as well. Oh boy. I'm a bit worried now. <laughs> Okay, Ray Ray, come home to me. So let's do this with the 10 tickets first from the event. Then we'll decide whether I want to pull with the discounted pack. Okay, a bit of a constant slow load there, but that's not too bad. At least there was some load. One, two, three. Yeah. Ooh, seems the luck is very stagnant. Ooh, ooh, lots of red boxes at least. Okay, no evolution on the first one. A bit of gumlin love. Ooh, why are the red boxes appearing in the front? Oh, this is new. I've not seen this play before. Hmm. Does that give costume points for Ray Ray's costume? If so, ooh, there it is. That's the main thing I want to see. The bare minimum. So I can unlock Ray Ray's costume at least through episode ops. That's not too bad. Oh, not too bad. Another rare episode plate. Okay. So no evolutions at all. That's kind of sad. I guess today isn't the day that I should be pulling gachas. <laughs> should have pulled it yesterday. Oh well. But you know, I had to get the free 10 event gacha tickets first before making this video plus work. Uh, so... Does this? Okay, it gives Barcelona's crossover costume. So that's not too bad. So anyways, um, I'm still gonna pull, I guess, the discounted plate pool. Um, then, since we have some, you know, free singing stones from the campaign recently, I guess I might do another Freya or Mikumo gacha pool. Uh, who knows? Hmm. Anyways, here we go. Template discounted pool for Rere's banner. Oh, that was a very instant load. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, it seems like the good luck is starting to spew out. Two red boxes on the first bling. Oh, we get two rainbow boxes. That's fantastic. Okay, here you go. No evolution on the first red box. Okay, let's get this. Oh, is it gonna evolve? Oh. Oh! We got it! <laughs> okay, so I just need Makina's episode plate next. <laughs> I'll be a happy fan. Alright. Okay. Oh no, the other rainbow box is another coffee. That would be fantastic for the event. Here we go. It is! We got a fully evolved episode plate. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, my... my my love for Ray Ray is filled to the max. <laughs> and some Mirage love at the end, that's, that's fantastic for me. Alright. Nice. Oh, Mirage's plate evolves as well. Nice. Big bonus for me, considering I'm a fan of both divas. Well, technically one diva and one pilot. So, oh, fantastic. We get a notification that we fully unlock the costume 
um, you through normal episode plate means. Cool. So yeah, so I'm gonna dive into. I think I'll pull. Uh, who should I pull? Kumo Kumo or Frey Frey? I don't know. I think I I, I don't know. I'm I'm not a big fan for either divas. I'm sorry, Freya and Kumo fans, but yeah. But if I had to go for either one, I'm a bigger Juna fan than Minori. <laughs> so maybe I'll go for Kumo. So okay, here we go. Don't kill me. Don't kill me, Freya fans, please. <laughs> so this is this will probably be my last try on the seven uh seven star gacha banner. So yeah, there we go. We get some loading. Hopefully with all the good luck coming out now. Maybe we get something nice. Yeah, we still get the 5 Valkyrie animations. Yep. Okay, rainbow box on the first bling. That's promising. You know? Alright, hopefully it evolves. Okay, let's keep moving on. Here we go. Oh, no evolution. Ooh, more Ray Ray love. Oh, that Kilulu looks so adorable. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm happy. I'm getting a lot of Reina love, so that's fine. Even though I did not get the Mikumo episode plate, but it's okay. Alright. Hey! It's a plate I don't own. Ooh. Okay, so let's take a look at it. Short duration, score and damage, that's fine. No special notes, okay. So, yeah. Technically, I've already unlocked this costume, so it's just extra points to try and get an episode up for future costumes. So anyway, guys, that's it for today. Let me know your thoughts on everything that we've discussed in this video um, in the comment section down below. Um, especially your thoughts on the topics we've discussed or on the episode plates. What do you think of Ray Ray's episode plate? Is it a must for you? Is it um, something you can skip? Or how did you do it for your own personal pools? Everything that you have in your mind, let me know in the comment section down below. Uh, and of course, uh, like, share, subscribe, you know, the, the usual good stuff. And of course, follow me on Instagram once again. Um, yeah, guys, that's it. That's it for today. I'm tired. I'm heading to bed after this. Until then, guys, I'll see you guys soon. Bye!